Catalan opening, open defense, classical line, 6.0000. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. The Catalan opening is a slower, more positional opening where white prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on g2, where it will help control the center. d5 takes space in the center and attacks the e4 pawn. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Dxc4 opens up the center and captures the c4 pawn. This threatens to win a pawn. That pawn was free for the taking. This kicks an opposing queen. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. Master Games it is the last book move. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This overlooks a better way to connect rooks. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes an attack, threatening a bishop. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This attacks a piece, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This reveals an attack on a queen. This is the only move that works. It is best. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant takes back. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only move that works. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is forced. Right on target. It is best. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players.